I want to go to a dubstep party so bad. There we go. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Michael Wright. I prefer to go by Sonics FX. Okay. I am a beatboxer, 15 years old, and I've been doing it for two years. Hey. Hopefully, you guys enjoy my talent show entry for the talent show by the Subto Rose, Cooley, and Gator Martin. Show entry, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And we did enjoy it. Tom got you throwing these damn thumbs up. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was doing it. You don't never do no damn thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrone, bro. <laughs> what are you doing to me, bro? <laughs> Pause. <laughs> um, but two years, man? 15. He's 15. <sighs> hard work, dirt. Hard work does pay off all right so i'm just gonna call you sonics fx because you that's what you prefer to be called um he did that smooth as hell the thing that i like so much is all right his name's sonics ff you know his name's michael but he prefers sonics as x sonics yeah sonics, sonics fx it's that's hard to, <laughs> it's hard to you know you might want to try to make it make your name a little smoother sonic uh, fx or Sonic Sex, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna try to figure out a, a awesome nickname. We're gonna go with Sonic Sex, Sonic's FX for now. But you're gonna need a better nickname pretty soon, cause you're it's way FX. too awesome for that name. I'm letting you know that now. Like in the be, I'm sorry. In the beginning of the video, mm -hmm. he talks. He says he beatbox. So I'm like, okay, you beatbox. I'm thinking he's like a basic beatboxer. You know what I mean? I'm I'm keeping it 100 with you. I thought you were going to be basic, you know what I mean? I thought it was just going to be a basic beatbox and it's over. But you have to watch this whole video to see the how how many different sounds he can make. You know what I mean? He's so dope. This probably is the most surprising video I've seen out of a, out of some of the videos we've done with the talent show so far because I didn't think he was going to be as good as he was. So I liked it a lot. The sound effects were dope, bro. I, I, it was so good that I wanted to be like a DJ behind your beatbox and like one more time, like 
let's go, let's go, let's go. Like, that's how good he was, bro. Yeah, that's nothing really, you know, much for us to say at this point, but he just, Gotta keep on going, bro. There's nothing much for you to say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I liked it. Like, I really liked it. Like, but people gotta understand this beatboxing is it easy. Yeah. Like, people can say, oh, yeah, he just did some beatboxing. But beatbox until you try to beatbox, you will never understand how difficult it is to produce those kind of sound effects. You know, like, I, I've, I've, and I've been practicing beatboxing. So yeah, I ain't, right. Go ahead and give it a shot. Somebody, I, I'll give it a shot after the homie gives his opinion. But I practice beatboxing, and it's not easy. To make sound effects and... Yeah, he definitely has rhythm too. Let's see what Tyrone Magnus has. Like Mike, if I could be like Mike. So Mike beatboxes. That was the worst beatboxing I have ever heard. Thank you, Simon. Now I'm gonna take over. It was pretty damn good, man. Real good. You know, whenever I listen to beatboxers, one thing that I do is because I'm a voiceover artist, because I'm a guy that you know does a lot of voices and sounds sometimes, um, and I even when you guys aren't around, when I'm not making videos, sometimes when I'm thinking of different voices and scenes in my head, sometimes when I'm imitating voices, I actually add. Sometimes unknowingly, I forget I add music from the movies and stuff like that while I'm doing these voiceovers and practicing. And when I listen to beatboxers, one thing that I find myself doing is. If I say to myself, I can't do that, I know that you're at a difficulty level that is above mine, something that I definitely respect. And, um, you know, sometimes beatboxers will start out, it'll be a very simple beat, and then they start to get into it, and you're like, whoa, like this dude is going off. And uh, you did a few things in there where I was like, okay, this dude is good. This dude is good. So you definitely have a lot of potential. My only gripe, and this is something that's personal, okay? And uh, I don't know if there's anyone else that hates this, and it, I actually do hate it. This is not a strike on you. I just hate this particular aspect of beatboxing that I've noticed nowadays, especially with the quote-unquote better or well-known beatboxers, is that they use that sound effect, booms. Boom, 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 whatever the, oh, that sound that they use, I hate it. I can remember years ago when beatboxing started getting popular again and people were having competitions. I remember there was a guy that was really good that used that. And I was fine at that point, but what it was is, see, people want to emulate the best. And I think that a lot of great beatboxers started using that oh sound effect. And it drives me nuts because I just feel like it's totally overused. That doesn't mean that you're a bad beatboxer. It just means that I think it's a sound effect that's overused by beatboxers. Doesn't mean that you're bad. So I think that you're actually really good. Really, really good. And potential for greatness. So keep on doing you, making your beats. Um and uh yeah that's 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 it you did pretty good man thumbs up soldier one million subscribers boom 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 <laughs> man look i know it's probably kind of hard for you you know for i guess i don't know beatboxers to be as original as they possibly can but if you can do that then you know, go for it because, you know, doing the same thing over and over again, I think gets a little bit repetitive over the time, but we liked it. I liked it. And I just feel like if you learn from the best, that's when you can create your own sound. You know what I mean? You learn from the best and then you learn, then you use what you learn from them and you create your own, your own sound. You know what I mean? That's just how... That's just how this world works, period. You know what I mean? We, every individual out here, even somebody that made something original, they had to learn something from the best that did anything related to what they're doing. You know what I mean? But as far as that noise that Tyrone uh, was talking about, I don't, I don't really have nothing against it. I do notice that a lot of people use it, but I know that we're in this era of dubstep. You know what I mean? Where 
beatboxers can make dubstep noises and it's dope as fuck, you know what I mean? So I think um, what we gotta realize is these noises are coming out of people's mouths. These aren't computers. These aren't, you know what I mean? Which I think personally is a lot better than having a computer do it for you. I mean, I, I still fucks better. with computers, but, <laughs> <laughs> but like that's the special thing about beatboxes. These noises aren't coming from anywhere else but them. So you're 15, bro. I really think you're going to be a beast in the next few years um i really highly recommend you make a youtube channel now and let that thing grow as you get better and better and what's that dude's name marcus perez yeah you'll be way better than marcus perez i'm i'm not putting like no competition out there but i can definitely see you all over kids vines like oh my gosh have you Sonic's FX. We gotta figure out a doper name. <laughs> but did you yeah. did you guys see Sonic's FX's Vine? Oh my gosh! Like you can encourage a whole new generation of beatboxers. It's the cool part, you know. So. So what do you, so if you're trying to figure out what to do with it with your beatboxing, I mean, still you know you get, still got some time on your hands, but make sure you do something with that beatboxing with the vocals. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Hey, but definitely, uh, one thing I, I do recommend is maybe you hang with some rappers. Mm -hmm. You don't gotta hang with the wrong rappers because it is some wrong rappers out there. But you know, get you hang around a, a good a good crowd of rappers, like decent people, and start beatboxing with them. That's what I used to do when I was younger. My homie Cow, he beatboxed, and we walk around the streets. He beatboxing, and I'm just freestyling, like you know what I mean. So. Get, get with some rappers, bro. That'll help you multitask as far as your beatboxing goes, too. Because you got to listen to a rapper rap when he freestyling. And then you got to work with him. You know, work with your beatboxing skills and his rap skills. It's real fun shit to do, but practice makes perfect, bro. <laughs> There's a whole lot of stuff you can do with beatboxing. So you just got to figure out what you want to do with it. Yeah, but other than that, great talent, man. Keep doing your thing.